Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm back with another message for you to hear right now. Let's hop right into it and find out. So your angels really want you to know. From the jump, I am hearing that there is somebody that is really seeing you in a highlight lately. This person feels like they've been kind of watching you for a little bit. In a lot of situations, you have chose the higher road, especially when you were surrounded by maybe negative or gossipy people that may have tried to taint this person's view of you. But this person is also very observant. I'm also hearing also because this person feels like you and them have some similarities. I feel like this person does does feel a spiritual connection to you and they are divinely guided towards you for one reason or another and we definitely kind of dig into that i feel like there's a lot of information coming in about a particular individual but i feel like lately this person is having some sort of epiphany there is some sort of situation where they saw or a few times they saw you kind of diffuse situations instead of adding to it in the past maybe this person could have heard things about you or saw you react to something going on around you and they maybe didn't know if they could trust you or not but there's something going on here where you definitely kept this person's secrets and they really respect that about you. I do feel, again, this could be someone that you're involved in in the workplace or a family member or a mutual friend, something like that. But I do feel someone here really likes you and they do really see you highly. And I feel, again, we just live in a time period where sometimes it is really hard to figure out who to trust, who to not trust. So I do feel like this person could have been cautious with you or just cautious with people in general. Whoever this person is, I feel like they have dealt with a fair amount of betrayal. I feel like this person is spiritually gifted and they are intuitive. So they were guided towards you. But there were people that maybe tried to taint their view of you. But what they're seeing is that you're definitely not anything negative or toxic at all. And again, this could be someone that people talk about badly to you as well. Like, And I feel like you could have protected this person because you do see them in a highlight. And you do really like and respect them, even if they've done things that maybe you didn't like. And I feel like maybe you could have done things that this person didn't like either. But at the end of the day, this person does have a lot of like and respect towards you. And I feel this person feels like there's a lot of people around them that basically are really immature and a lot of drama like before uh, i was trying to start this video and george was causing a lot of fuss like my cat by the way if you guys don't know he was locking himself in the cabinets he was meowing now he decided to use the bathroom right now while i'm talking and i'm like okay george but i feel like again there's a lot of people pining for this person's energy and attention and they kind of feel the same way about you that a lot of people fight for your energy fight for your attention and they feel like you're going somewhere with your life they see a light to you they could have told that to you and i feel like you see the same in them and you've had these conversations like you're going somewhere you're a star like this person could have said that to you or you could have said that to them and i feel like, again that this person also feels that a lot of people use them but you never try to use them at all if anything you came with them very genuinely and that kind of made them feel like you were too good to be true so what i'm hearing is that there's someone here that's actually seeing that you really are a good genuine person and it's not that they didn't believe in you it's just more they're very jaded from what they've dealt with maybe growing up or family or people around them or just society in general you guys already know my light workers my healers you have dealt with so many betrayals and backstabbings and it's partially because you have a light to you and people are jealous of you, but it's also just because of that's how some people are. And it really shocks a lot of us sensitive souls when that happens. So whoever this person is, they're definitely pretty shocked that someone like you exists. And I feel like they could have even ran or sabotaged this connection. This could be romantic or friendship too as well, by the way. But I do feel like there's someone here who was just very skeptical that you really were this good person. But I feel like there was some sort of situation again where you had this person's back or you had this person's back in front of others or people even told this person that you spoke highly of them and they're just hearing things and they're realizing that they let kind of their fear take over with this connection with you and they're feeling more and more drawn towards you. Whoever this person is, you are going to be hearing from them soon with the moon card here. I feel like there's some sort of spiritual connection where this person cannot deny it. So it's like they're dreaming about you, they're thinking about you. And honestly, in this situation, this person may feel it more than you guys because I feel like they need something that you guys have, some sort of advice or some sort of collaboration maybe you guys are meant to do there's some sort of divinely orchestrated union going on here and that's why this person is meant to see that you are the truth meant to see you're not just causing drama again this person could have been involved in situations with people that you knew and maybe you could have been reacting to something going on around you and they may have thought maybe you were like somebody you weren't i feel like again it's not that this person thought badly about you but i just feel that this person could have been going through things or you and sometimes we're just reacting out of like some other situation that has nothing to do with that person like maybe you rinse this person you're in a bad mood or something like that but i feel like again this person sometimes whoever this is it, it's i think they're insecure to be honest because they could overread some of your behaviors i'm also getting as well that you guys could be a type of person that lets people come to you you don't really go out of your way to push to make friends or push to have people in your life so you and this person have something in common where you may actually just wait for people to come to you. And I feel like that's why your energy and this person could be a bit of a stalemate. Like I do feel this person has a lot of people chasing them because 
Just like you, I'm hearing, this person does not even know the full extent of their value. And they do have some users around them still. It's what I'm picking up on. And I think they're fully aware of that. But I'm hearing, yeah, I don't feel used when I'm with you. It's just what I'm hearing. And I don't feel abused. Yeah, I feel like this person feels like they've been used by a lot of people, including relationships as well, romantically. And this person knows that you're completely genuine in their encounters with you. So... Somebody here is definitely losing sleep over you guys. Um, we got the page of swords here. This person definitely has been watching you guys for a while. Again, this could be a mutual friend, someone you guys could work with, someone, yeah, someone in the workplace I'm hearing, or just a family friend or somebody you guys lost contact with. And maybe this person, again, they weren't skeptical of you because of maybe even seeing or hearing anything bad. For some of you guys, this person's just a skeptic in general. But the whole point of the reading is that someone definitely sees you in a very high light. And they also feel like you're somebody who... They may have confided in, but you never kind of exposed their secrets or said anything about them. Um, I do feel like, again, this person may have even asked other people, oh, did so-and-so say anything about me? And they're like, and people were like, no, honestly, they had nothing but nice things to say. Or no, they just said nothing at all. Like, I feel, again, like this individual sees you guys in a very high light, the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody does see you as like a wish fulfillment friendship, a wish fulfillment relationship, a wish fulfillment, some, as somebody they want to be closer to, like a work situation. The Nine of Cups, yeah. So what I'm seeing here is the King of Cups. You guys could be dealing with the water sign. I see that strongly. This could be also a friend, a platonic friend, or someone that's masculine energy that is platonic with you guys. But I feel for a lot of you, this is someone who does have romantic interest in you. But take what resonates. I feel that this individual kind of try to look away from you just because, like... I don't know. I just think that life kind of got in the way. Like I said, you and this person have a lot of people demanding your time, demanding your energy, but this person is very drawn towards you and you're going to see that this person's going to come towards you. I also feel like there was a time period where you did try maybe a little bit to make an attempt towards this individual because you felt drawn towards them too, but they may have been kind of weird at the time period. I really think it's um, fear and it's also, again, other people's energy influences. It doesn't even have to be directly related to you, but someone had a lot of stuff going on. Maybe they still do, but I'm hearing, I'm going to make the time. Like I need to make the time to see you. I need to make the time to talk to you. Like we need to talk. Like, and I feel like it could be business. It could be about life. It could be about family. There's some kind of healing that can go on here between you and this person, because I feel like there is some sort of spiritual connection here. We got vacation. So maybe this individual is someone that is trying to now make more time to enjoy themselves, enjoy their life, or this person in the past was just way too busy at the time period so you guys couldn't connect. But I do feel that either you or them maybe making time for yourself. You could have been really busy too and, and denied this person a few times as well. And it's not that you guys didn't see value in each other, but you could have been caught up in different things. Uh, yeah, look, a meeting with a stranger could be important. This, this connection could be important for one reason or another is what I'm hearing. And I do feel that there was just certain situations where you or them had Somebody around you that maybe been preventing this relationship from moving forward. And it could be karmic as well, but there's an individual here. It could be dealing with the air sign too. I'm definitely getting a strong Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer though too as well in the chart. Um, whoever this person is, they're very determined to be successful. This person also... I'm getting this person, they don't always reveal what they're thinking and feeling. People can see this person as passive. I don't think they're passive. I think they're just more like a laid back person. Because I'm seeing with this nine of cups, like she's sitting back and watching things happen. And I feel like that's what this person has been doing, especially in regards to you. Uh, I do feel like, again, this person could have had their own personal challenges to overcome. Maybe this person was going through some sort of loss in their life or you were. This could also be an individual that's also very observant and they didn't want to pursue a connection with you because they may have saw you were hurting over like a breakup or an ending or something like that, or there was something going on where this person knew it maybe wasn't the right time to pursue, especially if it was romantic, which is very interesting. So we are actually dealing with someone who is of higher intellect or emotional intelligence is what I'm hearing as well. It's going to be someone you also met out celebrating, or this person's going to want to celebrate something with you or come towards you. But I do see this a situation here going on where, look, getting together with friends. Like I said, this person could be trying to get together with you as friends, catch up. So I'm hearing that um, this person definitely admires you because you took the high road and I feel like that's what kind of people say about you. People genuinely have nothing but good things to say about you. And people genuinely have good things to say about this person. I feel like when it when people start to get jealous or insecure or feel like, you know, their relationship is threatened by this individual or or people are jealous of you or whatever, right? Like people may end up saying things that will get in certain people's heads. Um, I really feel like at the end of the day, it's not that this person didn't like you. It's almost like they were made to feel like maybe you were too busy or you didn't want to spend time with them or something like that. Where, again, you guys don't really realize the light that this person sees you and other people see you. This person sees you as a wish fulfillment or someone they would love to be best friends with or do business with or hire or have at, have at their side. But they think that you're almost too good to be true or too good for them. But someone here does sense that you're genuine. 
and they've been watching you for a while, watch how you move, maybe even watching your content if you create. Um, you've been nothing but supportive to this person I'm hearing as well. And there were situations where you may have even known something about this person. This could be specific for some of you guys. You could have known some dirt on this person and decided not to reveal it to certain individuals. Like you kept this person's secrets is what I'm hearing. Um, or they, yeah, I feel as well that you could have really blew up their spot in some sort of situation. Um, that's what I'm picking up on because I do sense that maybe you are around people this person knows or you just know something about this person. Or just in general, I do feel that this person could be aware you have spiritual gifts, but you don't call them out on certain things. Um, yeah, because there could be something that this person's hiding, but you decide not to say that in front of certain people. It's either this person has an idea, you figured things out about them, or they have told you things in confidence and you never really shared that with others, which they really do like about you. I'm seeing that because I do feel like this person was maybe feeling a little vulnerable because they may have overshared with you. Which is funny. I, yeah, I feel like you guys really did have a strong sense of loyalty towards somebody. And yeah, I'm hearing you guys are known for being a loyal person. And I also feel as well that if you guys decided to break any type of loyalty to somebody, it's because they must have really went the full betrayal mode on you. Like, yeah, that's what I'm hearing too as well. Like you even had very high loyalty to somebody that maybe did you wrong in the past. This person saw that. But I do feel like lately you're breaking away from loyalty to the wrong person. Because I feel, again, sometimes you can't be loyal to everybody. And I do feel like this person's picking and choosing their loyalties. And you are also trying to do the same right now in your life is what I'm hearing. Or that's kind of what God is kind of helping you guys kind of see. Okay, you can't be loyal to everybody because everyone's got their own mission, own agenda, good and bad. You know, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. And this person feels like there's something in alignment with their vision and your vision. And you and this person do have a lot in common. And now I do feel you guys can be very different, very different walks of life. Or you do have a lot in common. And it's like no secret that you guys would get along. And I do feel like people may be shocked of this connection, but I don't think... You and this person are shocked. You guys do have a lot in common, a lot to talk about, a lot to work on. And there's people constantly getting in the way of this connection. And I do see that. Uh, we got destiny here too. Yeah, see, somebody here is your guys' destiny. I do feel like a lot of this is meant to be a mystery. George is causing a fuss today, guys. He scared me. He really wants attention. And that's kind of what I'm seeing. Like, look at all the distractions. Like, and again, it may not also be like with bad intent, but there's just a lot of people that demand this person's time and energy. A lot of people demand your time and energy. And that's what I'm seeing. And it's like, we can just get, we just got to get together and talk. Like that's what I'm hearing. We got to get together and catch up or we got to talk business. I'm getting, I'm getting a sense that you guys will get or have been getting a message like this from somebody out of the blue. Like we need to catch up. We need to talk. Like, like, let's just like spend some time me and you like without, you know, everybody else around. Or I do feel like if there is some sort of party or gathering, you're all invited to, this person will actually take you aside and, and have a conversation with you. And if there is some sort of interference going on, I think this person is working their way out of that or trying to just get out of the situation. Because like I said, this person actually is in alignment with you. Like you, they have similar goals, dreams, and missions. They feel like maybe you guys can work on something together and build something together. So Jupiter expansion, see destiny expansion. This is some sort of connection that can expand you guys in one way or another. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. We have the ninth house here. This could be somebody that um, has Sagittarius in them too as well. This would be someone that else. Yeah, I see a lot of Sagittarius going on here. Um, ninth house energy too as well. You and this person can both be spiritual or open-minded or just willing to grow or, or do what you need to do to succeed. Like that's what I'm seeing. The type of personality that feels like you and them both are willing to stay away from drama and focus on the bigger picture. I feel again that a lot of people around this person or you haven't really mastered the art of not caring about the little deep details. This person is a big picture thinker. I feel like maybe they have um, ninth house placements too as well. Like they could be very philosoph philosophical. I can't say that word right now. Um, yeah, or religious or spiritual. So this person definitely feels like maybe it could it could have been in the past risky coming towards you, especially if this is romantic and there's you know some other things going on here. But I feel that either way, someone's gonna be taking action towards you. Like literally, even the cards here just point that out to us. You know, discord amongst family or friends. See, there could be people causing fusses around you or around them. And I do feel, again, that this person does really see you very highly. Like, I do feel like when the, you and this person are together, you're complimentary of them or they complimentary of you. You guys just compliment each other in one way or another. And someone is getting a vision here and revolving around you. And I think you're getting a vision revolving around them. And there could be dreams or something involved here, whether it's like their actual dreams and goals or they're dreaming about you. Because I do feel this person could have some water placements in their chart that gets them like kind of psychic or even sometimes they can have different psychic gifts than you. I feel like this person may actually know something you don't. Uh, depression, anxiety, worry that, yeah, I feel like this is romantic, especially, or even a friend or an ex, like this person can intuitively have known 
that you were going through something and maybe they waited till you seemed a little bit more healed so that they can kind of like communicate with you or this person's going through something or you guys both intuitively knew that about each other. Um, I feel that this person can sense that maybe you were going through a depression or, or this person has a depression where they worry that people are against them as well. I do feel like it could be mirroring going on here. Um, more than anything else, um, I want to say like kindred, kindred souls or kindred spirits. Uh, again, no one is exactly like you guys. You guys are my healers, my light workers. I get it. But I also feel like there's some, there's something in common here. But I do feel for some of you, it could be someone that you least expect that you have a whole lot in common with as far as ways of thinking. Because I'm just getting that, you know what it is? Like you sit back and you observe and I feel like this person does the same. And like I said before, there's so many situations where people could have been trying to cause drama with you or something could have been thrown in your face multiple times. And you guys really did, I feel like really do try to sit it out, you know, like are you try not to get involved in messy things. And this person is seeing that, like there's something messy that was going on and you guys decided just like, eh, I'm good with that, you know. And again, I think this person is the same way. Like, pe again, people could criticize this person as being passive, especially if they're a masculine energy. People could try to start fights with this person, for instance, and they're like, yeah, I'm going home. Yeah, I'm good. You know, like they don't really, they don't really, I'm hearing like take the bait because this person knows that they have value and the risk of acting out of character is, is far worse than like, you know, being, feeling, you know, like someone is talking ish to you, something like that. I know why I'm seeing that because this person could be around a lot of, toxic people and maybe their life kind of revolves around that in one way or another or they have to be because of work or something like that um or you guys like i said this person's family members are toxic or or something like that or yeah you guys could have some, something something going on there you know so it could be dealing with the libra as well see so coming through here and sag see i saw that and cancer energy leo energy too as well um yeah i feel scorpio at the bottom of the deck see scorpio very strong here I feel like there's something that you guys can collaborate, work on, or build together. And this person senses it, senses it, and you sense it too, or you will. But again, deep love, affection, and caring. This person does care for you guys, and um, they want to maybe start some sort of new opportunity with you. And I do feel um, it could be romantic for a lot of you guys, but the main message here is that somebody that you may have known or known of or was a friend of a friend or has a crush on you, um, I don't feel like this is somebody that you guys really hit it off yet like you should have. Because like I feel like you guys could have hit the ground running with this friendship relationship and boom, like you can really get really close. But there was some sort of interference going on here and I feel like maybe they were waiting for something to come to an end so that they can pursue this. Like some of you guys, maybe you worked together with this person and they wanted a relationship outside of work and they, they waited. Like there's something about this person actually being responsible, waiting for the right time to come in because I feel like if they were to pursue something the wrong way, they couldn't be completely honest with you about certain circumstances, right? Like maybe they're your manager or a boss and they can't be really honest with you about certain things in the workplace they didn't like and then they want to talk to you about it when you actually quit the job, right? Something like that. Someone reaching out like, yeah, I see you. I, I get you. Let's talk about this. Like we need to talk. Like boom, that's kind of what I'm seeing. And it could just be a friendship that took a little bit to get off the ground because we do have someone that, you know, waits for people to come to them. And I feel like you guys could be the same way. And I don't think anyone is particularly like super introverted here. Maybe I feel like there could be some qualities of introversion for sure. But it's more like do you and this person respect each other's space and what you guys both have going on. And there's something about you guys respecting that this person was going through something or something was going on personal with them and you didn't take it personal or vice versa. This person respected the fact that something was going on personal with you and they didn't judge you based upon that. So somebody definitely here is viewing you guys in a high light. They feel like there was a situation where you guys could have been more upset, but you took the high road. And it's because this person is seeing you not as a pushover, but someone that just is, you know, when you sit back, people are gonna get their karma basically. And this person saw that, like you knew certain things were going on and you just sat back and you observe. And again, I do feel this person spiritual and they know also that you, there really was nothing you could have done. So you just reacted very maturely in certain environments. And this person, again, felt, finds themselves in some similar situations. That's why I feel like you guys could be spiritually a very simul similar as well. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Got the Eight of Swords here. Got the Hermit. Yeah, I feel like, again, whoever this person is, they have maybe been taking some time for reflection. They could have Virgo in their chart. Um, yeah, I feel, again, or Earth Placements. Again, this person definitely was recovering from some things going on in their life. I feel like this person likes how real you are, how honest you are. And I just think I'm hearing it checks out. Like the person that you guys claim to be, I feel like it checks out. Does that make sense? Something checked out about you that this person's seen. Like, okay, yeah, this person is exactly 
they are exactly someone of their word. Like you don't go along with things because the group wants to. Like there's something about you guys having your own opinion, but if you don't like something that's going on, you're out. And I do. This person sees that in you. Like you, you, you just don't need to get the approval of other people. And I feel again, like it's it's a lot for people to adjust to this type of personality because most people are just chaotic. You know, when when one, you know what I mean. When one thing doesn't go, they're not most people. I shouldn't say that, but maybe this person views the world that way. Like a lot of people around them just are kind of like stressed over minor inconveniences or live in their comfort zone. But this person sees you seeking, expanding, doing things, going places. And again, this person could have been not threatened by that energy, but not familiar with it because there's an aspect of them that's themselves that's like that way. But a lot of people are not used to, especially like other people who have some sort of light or healing energy. Is sometimes they're not used to seeing other people with that same energy because a lot of people come towards them, but sometimes not the people that have the light to them. You guys get that? I feel like my lightworks and my healers, I always say this, but I don't like the expression you attract what you are because I actually feel like lightworkers and healers, leaders, mentors, teachers, healers, whatever. Like they attract a lot of live, low vibrational people that see the value in them or want their energy. So this person definitely has dealt with a lot of low vibrational BS that has dragged them down and maybe at certain points made them look that way too as well. Or they understand like, that things are not always what they seem basically there's somebody here who does embody spiritual gifts i feel like you guys will be having a conversation about this or have had a conversation about this with this person uh but that someone's definitely seeing that yeah like i said like you you could like you see things for what they are you're good at spotting deception and they also have that gift too as well. This person is very observant, whoever they are. And they've been observing you just overcome challenges and just do you. And there's a lot of growth from when you guys met to now. Even if it was two weeks ago, like they're seeing, wow, this person is on the move. They could have been upset about something the day I met them, but boy, are they okay today. Like there's definitely maybe the time period that you and this person connected, there was a lot going on in your life. And now it's like it never happened. Like you don't even bring it up. You don't mention it. You're doing well. You're standing tall. Like this person sees that about you. And you know, like there's a lot of people out there who are going through stuff. Like when you, when you meet them and they're always going to be going through something or the same stuff, the same toxic ex. Like, no, you said this person's toxic. You got away from them. And now you're on to the next. Like you're not one of those people that continue to perpetuate drama. And this person's like, dang, like I need to get on that level. Basically is what I'm seeing here. This person's like, I want someone like me in my life. Boom. They, they feel like they found that. Even if it's romantic or this person has romantic interest in you, they, they see a friendship potential too as well. Like it's not just like, oh, I want to get with this person. It's like, no, actually I thought maybe I liked them, but I think I liked them like, like in a different way, you know, like, and I feel that like, even if like romance is, is off the table they'll still pursue something with you because they see that you're kindred basically like you've got a lot in common and um people around them like you too or 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 they see your people just like you like you know people are drawn towards you basically they can see in some way or some shape or, or i'm hearing in some way they can see you're very popular um in that you're picking and choosing who you spend time with or that you move that you're moving intuitively you know what else i see it's like also people could you know not understand the way this person moves but they move intuitively and so do you guys so you guys could just follow a whim and hang out with a certain person and people are like oh why are they hanging out with that person like you know or you can go in certain spots or be in certain places and a lot of people don't understand how you move but this person gets it like you're just trying to seek learn explore you know it doesn't even have to be that deep you don't really okay if this person likes about you you're not on the hunt not on the prowl. This could be a feminine energy too that wants to go out with you, hang out with you, travel with you because like you get when like sometimes people go out and they're like they have to go pick up somebody, right? Or they have to be fine, get attention or they're going out to seek something that's for validation instead of seeking to learn or to grow. This person sees you as someone that seeks to expand to just to just like explore. Um, yeah. And I feel like this person is the same way. They find themselves around interesting people and environments because they genuinely enjoy just their life, you know? Um, and I feel this person, honestly, this person is dealing with stagnancy and boredom. And I think you may have been dealing with that as well. So I see uh, an emotionally fulfilling friendship or relationship coming in, guys. That's actually pretty exciting because that could be what some of you guys need to kind of get out of your comfort zone. You and this person could be going new places together, traveling. This person, I'm hearing, I could show you the world. Like this person can show you a, a new world or you are going to show them a new world or, or the scene. You know, like I feel you guys are some, somewhat aligned um creative both creative both spiritual and this could be a new friend coming in um i feel like a lot of you guys have been asking for you know some some soul tribe vibes and i feel like this is soul tribe vibes like this person feels like you are very similar and you're meant to do something together or be together or be friends together or get together um yeah this person's just hoping that you let them in you know
where you know you guys and this person are going to come together this feels very natural again i think you and this person are in the midst of a transformation and maybe even a spiritual awakening because this person is beginning to act differently than they were in the past too like you know i feel that you were this yeah younger one somebody could be younger than the other person here Or again, I'm just getting the sense that this person feels that they've been hanging out with people that are like too immature for them and they want to hang out with someone who's like on their level. This person just wishes they could just sit and have a conversation with you and I think they're going to make that happen. Um, you've been, you will be shown the way. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And birth, look, two cards about some kind of new thing coming in. So I feel like some, some sort of... Um, new job or new person we got new 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 we love that so for a lot of you guys again i don't sense that it's a hundred percent and well it could be a new person coming in for some of you that really feel like and eh, i don't know i don't know anybody like this but again it could be surprising to you guys because someone could just dm you or message you or or walk up to you like oh yeah da, da. like i've seen you around like let's hang out you know that's kind of like somebody i feel like has been watching you guys or this is something that's coming in that's going to be a very observant open-minded type of person in your life Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Use your intuition. Right. I feel like this person uses their intuition and they are trying to... Actually, I feel this individual sees you as someone that is like... Can teach them a little bit more about this. Because what I'm seeing is that this person knows that their intuition is strong. And when they haven't listened to the past, it led them to no good. So their intuition is definitely guiding them towards you. They're, that's coming in strongly. They're like, okay, not only is this person probably going to teach me about my intuition... Or validate some things for me that I feel too. I feel a very validating relationship coming in, you know, and ironically, even though you guys don't need validation, it's more like an emotionally like, oh, I see the same things. I feel the same way. I observe the world the same way and not in like a narcissistic mirroring thing, but like more like a, oh, did you peep that? Oh yeah, I definitely did type of vibe where you both see people in a similar way, especially energetically. You guys are very good at noticing who's sneaky, who's snake-like, who's draining. And this person definitely sees the value in, in coming closer to you. New home, new attitude. This person definitely sees that you've stepped into a new attitude, you've shifted your energy, and they wanna do the same. They're like, damn, like I kinda wanna go through a transformation like this person. Like I wanna, I wanna have my glow up. Like some of you guys, this person noticed you glowing up, you shining. And one thing I was picking up on as well is that this person is shocked about how you really are of your word. You really are doing what you're saying you're gonna do. You really are working on things you say you're working on. Like you're very real. Um, yeah, and this person definitely is, is, wants to go on an exciting adventure with you. And they feel like when you're around, like, they feel excited. Like, again, this person could be very bored of the same old people and situations. Again, this person could be creative of some kind, and they're seeking inspiration. And you guys definitely got that for you. And, and I feel like there's a lot of souls attracted to you guys for this reason. Because you are that inspirational person, that motivational person, that high vibrational person. A little dose of your energy can get people really inspired. One little piece of your advice can get people really going like that's what i'm seeing here um yeah so and this person is fully aware that people would pay for your time and for your energy so there they would be someone who's very grateful and want to hold their own in this relationship or friendship so yeah let's see what months we have coming in here this could be birth months for this individual we got may here coming in this person could be born in may or something could happen in may we got march coming in here so of course this person could be born in march or or this month coming up or next month coming up could be significant they could be coming through more again my readings are timeless so i'm seeing this is a relationship that's coming in now or soon or this person's coming closer to you soon we got october coming in this person could be a libra or a scorpio they could be a pisces or they could be an Aries as well, a Taurus, I'm seeing as well. We got February coming, it's supposed to be Aquarius. Shout out to my fellow Aquariuses out there. Again, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. And also subscribe if you're new here. Welcome, guys. I also post a lot on Patreon if you guys want some extra content. Once in the blue, I answer questions on there as well. Check it out, guys. Links are all below. A lot, a lot, a lot is coming in about change and transformation. You and this person are coming together right now because of the fact that you're both in a season of change and transformation. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I wish I could show you George right now. He's literally staring me down. Like, George, cut it out. Like, I'm sitting at a table right now, and George is sitting on the chair, like, staring me dead in the eyes. Like, are you done yet? Yeah, so I'm kind of feeling like it's going to be like a relationship where, like, when it gets off the ground, you and this person are going to be, like, really close. Like, that's kind of what I'm seeing, and you guys definitely need that. I feel like a lot of you guys worked on breaking codependencies, especially with people that were just dragging you down. So 
it'd be nice to have a nice balanced fulfilling relationship with two people just trying to make it you know what i mean genuinely trying to make it not dragging anybody down that's kind of what i'm seeing here going on all right so let's get a little bit of advice coming on here and i do have pictures of george on my instagram if you guys are curious he's a little uh diva In the near future, guys, see, do I even need cards? I always joke around about this, but seriously, in the near future, I did like just said that, like, it's, they're coming, like, like they're around you right now, like, they're, there's somebody you, you definitely are feeling coming in, or they're going to come in very soon, because, again, some of you guys, it could be a new person, like, it's going to be, like, you guys felt like strangers, but you really don't feel like strangers, and I feel like, um, there's going to be some sort of vibe, like, when they're around you, it's just super comfortable, like, and I feel like it's been a while since you guys may have felt that way about a friend or a relationship or a person, and that's why maybe in the past, you guys had a hard time letting go of certain people, okay, wow, a lot of information, come. They, I'm hearing as well that you guys probably uh, grew a lot of friends around you, so, you know, God is helping you guys bring in um, some like-minded people, you know, and I love that, whether it's divinely orchestrated or just, like, you know, God picked out somebody because you guys have been praying, hey, I need a friend, help me out here, hey, I want to date somebody slowly, be start off as friends, it could be that, you know, hey, like, I want to get closer to somebody in my life, or somebody that you guys could be kind of still, like, soul tied to in one way or another, through family, through friends, um, is coming closer to you, uh, we got, yeah, I feel like this person feels that there's an abundance around you, and it's not just, oh, I'm gonna get money when I'm around this person, this person's more than, you know, capable of getting money and getting to the getting to the gold here. That's what they like about you too. You guys have in common, but what I'm seeing is that um, this person is working on saying no to certain people so that they can get to you. Uh, it's not that you and this person. I don't even want to call you guys people pleasers because it's just more like a lot of people demand, <laughs> demanding your time and energy and just learning that you know you got to say no to certain people to say yes to certain people. So this person is trying to say no to certain people so they can actually move closer to you. They could have been aware in the past that other people interfered or this could just be purely energetic where this person's on that level now and you guys are on that level now and whatever was blocking or interfering this connection or whatever like okay i kind of feel like there's like this person you are meant to meet so whatever things are bringing you guys together whether it be the same workplace or mutual friends or whatever like i feel like that's going to start to sever because I feel like sometimes what happens is what brings you guys together may also be what distracts you too. Like if a friend's introduced you guys and then the friend in the between kind of get in the way of the friendship, right? Something like that where it's like this person's like, okay, maybe we should bring this friendship out of this, this situation. Maybe we should uh, just hang out me and you basically. Like making a move to like remove yourself from distractions. Um, yeah. So we got um, an opportunity can be coming through this individual. And I'm seeing compromise there as well because I feel this person um, is trying to like – just like get to this connection without rocking the boat, basically. Look, somebody is being undependable and insincere. This person is tired of people being undependable, being insincere. So, um, yeah, this person definitely feels like you've changed, that you can, you're capable of just like a lot. And they see that in you and they want to be around someone like that because they feel like they can learn and you can learn from them and they can help you, you can help them, right? Uh, you know, there could be some kind of a, like a, I feel like some of you guys it could be business related, honestly. Waiting for a news package or a letter. Yeah. See, some of you guys are just waiting. Like, this is just going to come in, you know? Yeah, this could be somebody like you guys meet through a friend or you guys become really close friends. And honestly, some of you guys, maybe that's just all you need is a good friend in your life. You know, like it, can, it doesn't have to be that complicated. But I, I feel like it depends on you, what you guys have going on to what this person is going to be bringing into your life. And I feel like a lot, you know, especially in terms of we got the ninth house really coming in here more than anything else. So I see in terms of like going new places and learning and spirit, spirituality, aspirations, goals, getting together and dreaming again. I mean, like some 12th house energy too as well. Um, oh my God. Yeah. I just say dream. And then this, this came out. See, with the eighth house here, I feel like transformative connection is coming in, but not a painful transformation, but more like a positive uplifting one. We got Gemini here as well. Pisces coming in again with the fourth house. Someone you're going to feel at home with. So you would have no problem inviting this person over. You're not going to feel weird about it. You know, you feel weird sometimes having certain people in your home. And this person doesn't feel weird having you in their home either. But they could feel weird about certain people being in their home. And this person would be weird about who they invite over. And honestly, they feel that this person could have been testing the waters with you guys. Seeing, you know, how you react to certain things. You know, like they just move very slowly. It could be trauma related too as well. I don't blame them. But let's see what else we have going on here. 
Yeah, I feel like this person uh, is a fan of you in one way or another, like, or they will be, like a cheerleader of some kind um, in your life. Rooting for you, I'm hearing. We got justice there. Yeah, I feel like this is some kind of good karma coming towards you, a good friendship, but also just this person maybe even wanting to do good onto you because you have done good onto them or you had their back on something and they just like, you earn that somebody's loyalty by having their back. Because I do feel like this person could have needed time and space in terms of this connection or just in terms of making a certain decision in their life. Like you're respecting this person's space and allowing them to grow. Does that make sense? Or this could be just your energy or theirs. Like there's a mutual respect going on here that you guys both embody and you can feel it within each other. But for some of you guys, this is specifically a person that needed time to come towards you or you didn't judge them on something and they really appreciate you understood something that they were doing and they felt like in some situations, like some people could have judged them. Does that make sense? Maybe it's person's into weird things. I don't know. But this can be totally different situations. Like you, this person could find in you something that they weren't proud of and you were really understanding about it. Like there could be so much that it kind of entails, but it feels like there was just a lot about this person that they feel like people don't accept about them, but you were already so like, open-minded about it and it could be something that you're into too like you know if you guys intimacy is here so i'm telling you guys right now this could turn into more i feel like if it's like uh you know someone you're attracted to right but i feel like some of you guys it's more like you and a friend hitting it off like and you guys just have a lot in common like you guys could be so open with each other i see something really beautiful here it's gonna be a beautiful friendship regardless of if romance is evolved or not i'm just gonna tell you guys that much i see a beautiful uh friendship developing here uh, we got Aries coming in as well. Seventh house, tenth house. Yeah. So you guys, like, this could be a friend that you're not going to have no problem with, like maybe even doing some kind of work together publicly or being public with, you know, like just, I see a, a relationship that really benefits you guys. Um, you know, I mean, you see the tenth house here and we also got eight, nine, ten. So that's a synchronicity as well. And again, we have um, this person seeking more out of life. There's just seeking better connections, more fulfilling connections, um, intimacy, like they're bored of the shallow stuff that they've been doing and like i said it's not their fault like right we sometimes we all get to that place where like these mother efforts are shallow like i need something better in my life you know and i feel that this person has been surrounded by shallow people a lot and you have been surrounded by shallow people a lot so it you know when you meet somebody kindred to your energy or someone real like it's really refreshing this person feels you are refreshing like like individual for them to talk to and be around and it wasn't in your mind. Like, I feel like some of you guys, it could be a situation where, you know, you and this person met in passing or maybe you were out and you were like, oh, maybe we're just drinking and having fun. Like, you know, or it could be a situation where you were a client or they're a client of yours, right? And, you know, you know, maybe they're just nice to me because it's a job. No, you're, you know, this is a situation where it wasn't just that. Like, there was a real connection there. You're not crazy for that. So you and somebody were meant to meet, basically. And the universe did this third-party energy so that you guys can meet. So now, like, that third-party energy might fizzle out. You know, some guys, you both fell off with the same person that introduced you, right? I feel like this is some kind of like meant to meet, divinely orchestrated type of relationship or situation. So that's what I see for you guys. I see um, a connection growing. Somebody here thinks that you took the higher road, uh, a relationship that's going to have trust in it. Um, I feel like even if this person is not like, yeah, this could be the one. Then we have attraction. There's going to be a lot of attraction here to one another. And again, I'm not saying that like, it, this could be more than platonic, but I feel like you're going to be like really attracted to this person and tell them like, wow, you were really a beautiful inside and out. Or they'll say that to you. And um, I'm telling you right now, if this is um, romantic or it kind of rings a bell for a romantic person, they do have a lot of attraction to you. But, you know, whether or not they act on it is really going to do with your situation. I think that the friendship being so pure is also um, something that could be noted here because I feel that they're if this is a masculine, right, and they really like you. It's like, it's been a while like that they actually are just purely attracted to somebody, like not just for a certain, you know, like this person could have relationships that were just, you guys haven't talked about, right? It's not just about them being physically attracted to you for that type of intimacy. It's more like actually like a pure type of thing. Does that make sense, guys? Because it's kind of like, yeah, you could have intimacy with this person, but it's not just going to be like, oh, Ranch, like this, that, you know, like it's more like, mm, like I really respect the heck out of this person. Like they're a beautiful soul and we don't even got to do, you can come over and we need to do anything. Like, you know, like I could just sit next to you all day and, and listen to you talk. And, um, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, yeah, somebody definitely, um, 
wants to engage with you guys, like get that relationship closer. And very soon keeps coming in, guys. So this is someone that could be around you right now. Keep an open mind. You guys might be surprised who this individual is. Or um, it could be something you guys wrote off because you're like, oh, I didn't want to be friends with this person or I was interested in them, but I don't know what happened. Like they never really hit me up. But again, this person could deal with anxiety, social anxiety, their own issues. It could be dealing with healing. And again, there is an element of this person feeling like, oh, like this person's a star. Like I don't even know if they really want to spend time and we got a queen of cups here so again you guys we do water sign i'm really seeing water sign energy female or male doesn't really matter um sagittarius as well and scorpio is really coming in strong here guys seeing taurus as well let's see six of wands yeah this person definitely um sees you guys in a really high light and this is someone who's not afraid to like be like hype you guys up like they know you're a star and it's not like even if they don't have that same type of oh i want to be a star too like they will put you on a pedestal and not in an unhealthy way. Like they think you deserve to be up on stage. And I feel like you guys will do the same for them. But it's like, they're like rooting for you. Like, hey, like get up there on that stage, girl. You deserve it. Or they will put you on, I feel like, to things. And you will put them onto things. Like that's the type of vibe I'm seeing here. Amazing. I love it. Okay, guys. Um, A lot of healing going on here. And this can also be a connection that is uh, at a distance for some of you. Because I do see some travel involved here. Or this is someone you guys may end up traveling with um as well or they are willing to kind of travel to you yeah this person could be doing bring some travel into your life or just like even if it's not travel i do feel it's like going out of your comfort zone in new spots doing new things um yeah good luck coming in again this person could be a pisces too or born in march solid foundation success with effort and then we have news is on the way yeah i feel a really solid friendship growing and that's what i'm seeing here for you guys all right remain positive there's something better. Helpful people don't stop. Yeah. I feel like from people out there who definitely been having a little bit of a hard time making friends, I do feel like this is a breakthrough for you, which is good because, you know, some of you guys just like hang out with certain people just to kind of get out and do things or for character development or for entertainment, right? Because sometimes it's just better than being at home when you had to break off a lot of codependencies. I get that. Or a lot of you guys just love meeting new people. But it's once in a while you actually meet somebody you click with. And I feel like you and this individual both probably deal with a lot of different types of people. So um, for you guys to click or to have this type of interest in each other is kind of like, it seems spiritual. So I do feel that um, a friendship is going to be growing closer between you and somebody. And I do feel like there could be something that was blocking this in the past. But, you know, even just divine timing. You weren't ready or they weren't ready or right place, right time type of situation. Because, again, for these divinely orchestrated things, God knows if, like, it's the wrong time and it will be sabotaged. They, you know, um, timing plays a huge role in a lot of situations. And that's why we shouldn't stress if we're stuck in hermit waiting. But I think you guys are getting out of some sort of um, hermit. We got women here. So, again, this person could be the same gender. Or for you guys, um, it is somebody that needed to release some sort of feminine energy in their life before they can come towards you. Um, the most difficult part of the situation is over. Time to act. A line can be significant, too. And then we have May again. You need to defend yourself and two-faced friend, right? I feel, again, that this person or you have dealt with having to defend yourself against someone two-faced. And I feel like you and this person are at the point in your life where you're no longer letting other people get in the way of what could be a really good opportunity for you, especially when it comes to goals, dreams, and expanding on whatever it is that you guys are working on. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, okay? I feel that the Three of Pentacles, it could be collaborative, a really balanced relationship that brings inspiration in. And I think you and this person are both going to get a lot of attention together. So I feel like if it's a female friend, you guys can expand your dating life or whatever, right? If it's someone the opposite gender, like you guys will be kind of like look really good together, right? Um, publicly, or you guys could work together and get gain an audience or something like that I see coming in or just just friendship vibes guys which I really love we got the 10th house there so I feel like this is someone that's not going to embarrass you you're not going to embarrass them there's going to be kind of a bond here because this person sees that you know you have their back and they have yours even if things were a little rocky in the beginning with the moon there but I think this person's just was energetically a little bit going through things or you guys so again that's what I'm seeing for you guys a very spiritual intuitive connection I feel that um you guys are both healing, and yeah, there's somebody coming in here that I do see you guys will have some adventures with, which I really love. This person's also very goal-oriented, or you they do have things going on for them. Like, I do see that. And right now, you may feel like you're not getting very far, but you really are getting ahead here. So I feel, again, we have time periods where we may feel a little stuck, a little stagnant, but it doesn't mean that you're stuck. Like, sometimes we're in certain environments waiting for the right person or opportunity that we're meant to meet. And I kind of see the situation happening with this friendship. You have a divinely orchestrated friendship relationship coming in here. And I feel we got marriage there. So I feel that for some of you, 
to me this person could be married but for some of you i do feel like it's like gonna be like an unbreakable bond that you have with someone which is really beautiful so i feel a lot of guys are really used to like betrayals or going at it alone a uh, change is coming you know i feel like you guys are seeing the changes in your life and i feel like this relationship's gonna bring a lot of fun like this person and you are gonna be enjoying life together um i'm hearing maybe go to restaurants too and then i, I saw a table there and I feel both you and this person have worked really hard in your life. So you're meant to kind of come together and reap the benefits of that together. Enjoy life together. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I really do hope you like that message. And I want you guys to comment below. I'm attracting well-balanced relationships and friendships. Because that's exactly what you're doing. And I'm excited for you guys to have something really positive coming in here. And again, like the main message I was hearing was people are talking about how you're a great person, how you take the high road. And a lot of people have great things to say about you. But what I'm hearing with this connection is that this person in particular is going to have your back. And they've seen that you are someone that just doesn't really like conflict at all. But you are someone who's also willing to put people in their place if you need to. So there's something about you guys doing that in front of this person that definitely got them impressed. And you know what? I think they need a little bit more of that in their life. That might be your stronger suit. Or this person might be stronger in that area than you guys. But anyway, I do hope you guys like that message. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.